We have performed our cDNA amplification reaction, and next we're ready to proceed with the spry select cleanup. We removed our cDNA amplification product from the thermal cycler. First, we vortex the spry select reagent until fully resuspended. We aspirate 60 microliters of spry select reagent for each sample. After aspirating the desired volume of spry select reagent, examine the pipette tips before dispensing to ensure that the correct volume is being transferred. Add the spry select reagent to each sample in the tube strip and pipette mix 15 times with the pipette set to 150 microliters. Pipette mix thoroughly as insufficient mixing of sample and spry select reagent may lead to inconsistent results. Incubate the tube strip at room temperature for 5 minutes. Place the tube strip in a 10x magnetic separator in the high position until the solution clears. Carefully transfer the recommended amount of supernatant to a new tube strip without disturbing the pellet. Please refer to the protocol-specific user guide for details. Do not discard the transferred supernatant, as this is used to prepare the feature barcode library. If you are only preparing gene expression libraries, you may discard the transferred supernatant at this step. If there is additional supernatant remaining in the tubes with the pellet, remove and discard this remaining supernatant without disturbing the pellet. Do not discard the tube strip containing the spry pellet as this contains cDNA that will be used to prepare the gene expression library. Next, we'll immediately proceed with the spry select cleanup of the pellet. We have our pellets in a tube strip, and we have freshly prepared 80% ethanol. First, add 200 microliters of freshly prepared 80% ethanol to the pellet and let stand for 30 seconds. Always use fresh preparations of 80% ethanol. Carefully remove and discard the ethanol wash. We perform this 80% ethanol wash twice. After the second ethanol wash, centrifuge the tube strip briefly and return it to a 10x magnetic separator in the low position. Remove and discard any remaining ethanol. After removing the residual ethanol, let the samples air dry for two minutes. Do not exceed two minutes, as this will lead to decreased dilution efficiency. Remove the tube strip from the 10x magnetic separator. Add buffer EB, pipette mix 15 times, and incubate at room temperature for two minutes. After two minutes, place the tube strip in a magnetic separator in the high position until the solution clears. Transfer 40 microliters of sample to a new tube strip and cap the tubes. Make sure that beads are not transferred during the elution step. If you aspirate beads, return the liquid to the tubes on the magnet. Wait 30 seconds and attempt to elute again. At this point, the sample can be stored at 4 degrees Celsius for up to 72 hours, or at minus 20 degrees Celsius for up to 4 weeks. Remember, we have set aside the transferred supernatant for the feature barcode library. The next step for this transferred supernatant is to perform an additional spry select and other cleanup steps. We've now completed a spry select cleanup for the gene expression cDNA. Refer to the user guide for the remainder of the cleanup steps for the future barcoding libraries and gene expression library preparation.